numbers and letters representing rocket motors may be confusing. In this video, we will explain what the numbers and the letters mean. We will start with the first number that follows the letter. This number represents the average thrust of the rocket motor and is measured in newtons. For the top motor, E96, the average thrust is 9 newtons. The average thrust on the motor below follows the K and is 660 newtons. Our graph shows the thrust curve for the E96 motor. As we can see, the motor reaches its peak thrust just after the 0.25 second mark and burns until the 3.1 second mark. If we were to take an average on this graph, we would get 9 newtons, the number designated in the motor code. The letter in the classification code represents the total impulse of the rocket motor. In the case of some high-powered motors, the total impulse is indicated along with the letter. Total impulse is the total power of a rocket motor. It is the product of the average thrust and the burn time and is measured in newton seconds. We represent total impulse for our motors using ranges which are assigned to letters. As we can see in our chart, an A motor is any motor that has a total impulse from 1.21 to 2.5 newton seconds. We can further divide our impulse chart by size specifications. Using our E9 motor as an example, if we multiply the average thrust of 9 newtons by the burn time of 3.1 seconds, we get a total impulse of 27.9 newton seconds. This sits about halfway within the E motor designation. The final number in the rocket motor designation is the delay time that occurs after the thrust of the motor and before the ejection charge. An A may be present, indicating that the delay is adjustable. As we can see in our picture, this is the amount of time taken from coast through apogee and right to ejection. In some cases, the motor may not have an ejection charge. This would be indicated with a P instead of a number. Such motors are used for rocket gliders and rockets where parachute deployment is controlled with electronics. Rocket motor designations may seem complicated at first, but with a little understanding of the flight of a rocket, the numbers and letters become quite easy to understand. For more information, please visit us at www.sigmarockets.com.